All right, welcome back. On Friday, Sandag Board of Directors approved a budget amendment adding $643 million for more than 30 projects throughout San Diego County. And joining us now with more on the vote and how the funds are allocated in Sandag is Del Mar Board Member Terry Gasterlin. Good morning. Good morning, Casey. $643 million. It's a That's lot a of money. A lot of money, yeah. yeah. These 31 projects are about half of the projects that are already underway at Sandag. They were voted on and approved to go forward two years ago. This money is new money from the state and from the federal government with grants to make sure those fun projects are now fully funded. Okay. Now, where it gets interesting yesterday on Friday is not only we, were we voting on the amount for each project, we were voting on the timeline. And that's where sparks started to fly. What is the timeline? Well, for highway interchange improvements, the timeline's really long. And many people are, are reminding Sandag board members, hey, we voted back in 2004 for Transnet in order to improve our highways, and those improvements haven't happened yet. So stretching it out another seven years to 2029, please don't do that. So the sparks. We have had a few people who made an a, what's called a substitute motion. So don't just approve what the what the staff has said. Do this, mm -hmm. but rather let's alter the timeline. Let's move this forward. Now I also asked for an amendment to the substitute motion. This gets very technical, and there's all sorts of books on how to you know, <laughs> vote. But I said, hey, and in Del Mar, there's this 330 million dollar bridge that was mm -hmm. designed before we wanted to look at relo relocating the railroad tracks. Now, why are we relocating the railroad tracks? The bluff is crumbling, right. storms are flooding. Which so we've this reported bridge, on many times. Yes, yeah. and this bridge is kind of potentially in the wrong place. And if we can relocate the railroad tracks to go into a tunnel in the fairgrounds, it won't be needed. So I see this bridge as an example of something where we can plan better by stepping back and saying, well, wait a minute, are there ways to tune all of this? And the answer is yes, there are. Now, what's really good in all of this, we've got the youth pass, so that's going to be continued. We have $101 million going toward bus and trolley improvements or early design. And unfortunately, that amendment and the substitute motion failed, so it's back to business as usual, and the highway changes aren't going to happen until 2029. Well, it seems like a lot of taxpayer money is just sitting there at this point. We're seeing a lot of the money go towards Sandag and all of their projects, over 30 projects, and nothing's happening. Yeah, it, it feels like nothing's happening because so much of this is planning, and the planning does take time. I I'm even sure, questioned, yeah. for example, yesterday, $10 million is going into planning an express bus route to get from San Diego State down to the Chula Vista trolley station. So I said, hey, if this is a bus on existing roads, why why $10 million? And why do you need the money to plan? Exactly. And, and so the answer I got was, well, it's about the right amount for planning because it involves 22 bus stops. I was like, hmm, okay. So we need to be, we need to dig a little deeper. We need to understand as board members mm -hmm. what this planning really means because this is a lot of money. It's $1.8 million now slated to be spent between now and 2030 with all but $100 million of that spent by the end of 2028. And I'm sure a lot of our viewers are watching right now and saying this is where my taxpayer money is going to just sit there and a lot of it's going towards planning. Yep. When a lot of these plans aren't realistic for San Diego County. Well, there we get into that 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 distribution of funds. 439 million may sound like a lot of money when we step back and say, well, wait a minute, that's 1.8 billion of what's going to be spent over the next five to seven years. That's not a lot of money. And then when it's pushed out further, and then you add in the 330 million dollar bridge that may not be needed, 
what's the next big one? So I talked about the 10 million, that's the smallest project of all. The biggest project of all, $616 million mm -hmm. for the Otay Mesa East border crossing. <laughs> there, there is a lot of planning. There's right. negotiations with Mexico and the border, automating the border, planning the technology. And then the moment you go to construct it, it'll be a really big crossing with a okay. lot of highways. Some of the planning is building the new Highway 11 up front. Right now, Highway 11 goes nowhere, so we'd better build that border crossing. <laughs> well, let me ask you about Asana Krata as we inch closer to December when he plans to yeah. officially step down. Um, has there been any more talk and thought into who his replacement is going to be? We have a plan in place, and there's a committee that was created, a new committee. Um, some people who were on the executive director director oversight committee were a little upset because they were not put on this committee to look for a new director. So there's politicking going on behind the scenes okay. for sure. And is he still making any type of decisions as we, uh, as he's still on the seat? Yeah, it, it's been interesting to watch him in the, in the board meetings. He's quieter. And his deputy directors, um, Ray Major and Colleen Clemenson, are really stepping up to answer a lot of the questions. Okay. But Hassan's last day is the end of December, and on December 3rd, if I'm getting my dates right, so this will be the first Friday in December, the Sandag board will be presented with a choice for the interim executive director. You know, all of that is happening right. very quietly and confidentially, so I don't even know who is going to be on that slate. Well, something we'll continue to follow. Terry Gasperlin, thanks so much for coming in, as Thank always. Thank you, Casey. All right, Jason, over to you.